is Larry, and I am awesome. Everybody loves me because I am awesome. Hello, YouTubers, subscribers, friends, welcome to my channel. First things first, I want to thank everybody who watches my videos, takes the time to leave me a comment and like my videos. Thank you very much. It is 9.30 a.m. I am so freaking sore this morning. This is the stupid stairs I fell down. Uh, <clears throat> I had nothing to do with the stairs, actually. Just my body is so tired. And I've uh, been working myself to death every single day working on this tiny house. That uh, I guess it just finally caught up to me. Look at all this crap on the ground here. We got uh, a little rain yesterday, not too much. It rained for about half an hour, and that's it. But uh, I've never seen all these things on the ground like this before. It's crazy. Uh, we got some clouds in towards Tucson. Look like they're coming this way. Um, I'm trying to get myself motivated to work today. Let's see what's the uh, temperature. Looks like about 80. Three, maybe. Uh, I gotta spray this in the front door entrance. Ah, uh, this is for the closet. This trim right here. It's gonna be used for the edge of the stairs. Uh, the floor is actually going to butt up to this on the stairs like this. It'll butt up to it. And then this will be on the edge. And I have to paint it. I'm not going to paint it now. I'm going to wait till it gets installed and then paint everything when it's done. With this right here, because there's going to be a lot of traffic on the stairs, I had to get a special paint called Porch and Patio Floor Paint. It's designed to be to walk on. So going up and down. The, even though we don't wear shoes in the house, we're not allowed to wear shoes. I put my shoes on and then I walk out. But Asian family, we don't wear shoes in the house. Uh, so this is going to be painted on this edging right here. You all know I hate painting. And uh, Larry just wants to glue down this this to the stairs. And I told him we should staple the edges. And he's like, you'll see the staples. I said, well, after we staple them, we should like tap them down and then use this right here. It's a wooden laminate vinyl putty. And just cover where the staples are so you won't see it. I mean... He's worried about me tripping, kicking the edge of the stairs and ripping up the linoleum. Or not the linoleum, the laminate. So, I said, let's just staple them and use that. This is actually what the paint color is going to look like here. It's called a rare wood. Uh, this is what it would look like if you got a regular paint. This is the what it's going to look like. You can see the difference there. I'm going to the sun. Uh, what it's going to look like if you use it like what I got, porch. So it's pretty close to the uh, sample that I gave her. Although I thought it was going to be shiny like this, but it's going to be like a flat. But it might give her like an accent look to it, but we'll see. we got to go inside the tiny house and spray this. I should read the directions, but I don't have my glasses. Alright, so I went into my house to get my phone. And man, the whole house smells like bacon. I cooked bacon this morning for breakfast. And man, the whole house is smelling like bacon. I had uh, a first this morning. I was craving bacon and peanut butter. So I made me a peanut butter honey sandwich and a bunch of bacon and ate them together and it was delicious. The best thing I ever had. We couldn't do that yesterday because uh, Larry says we have to have wood to support this shelf and support the second rod that my wife wants to run here. But, uh, let's see. Yep, this tile stuck. Maybe I would grout that myself today. Alright, well I'm going to spray this. And then, uh, I'm going to get the primer, do some painting. This is what the stairs, the stairs are actually going to be, man, look how dusty it is. The stairs are actually going to be cut back, and then that trim is going to be here. Go like this. 
they're gonna go here and go here and then each step is gonna be trimmed and then I gotta paint it now it's gonna it's gonna be like a flat dark brown but uh, this isn't this isn't down at all it's just sitting here so I told Larry we need to staple this because it's like we glue it. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Stand here and hold a thing all day while you glue it each one? No, we'll just pop a staple here and here and then just countersink them and then put that vinyl putty in there. But <clears throat> yeah, so the things I gotta do today. We're supposed to do this Saturday. My wife's supposed to help me paint. But uh I gotta tape off this, tape this off, tape off there, tape there, because I'm gonna paint primer actually first. I'm gonna primer everything and then uh, I'm gonna tape off the ceiling up there because I'm gonna paint that trim today also. That's the plan. But uh, right now I'm gonna spray this water repel right here because it rained. The rain hit the door and it came down because it was raining so hard for like 15 minutes. Uh, we'll see. I just don't want any water damage here from rain. It probably never rain again over here, but that's the plan today. Start here first, and then continue with this print primer and the paint. I got to primer all this here. Clean that closet again. Let me get started. This prepping is going to take a while. All right, 10:04 a.m. I just sprayed that stuff down. It smells just like the stain. I just want to protect this for the next time it rains when I open the door going in and out. Uh, I'm going to get some air. It smells. Whew. I'm still trying to get over the last uh, incident with that stain. Whew, man, that stuff gives me a headache too. Man, the clouds are rolling in pretty quick. I'll tell you a story about the uh, update on Mrs. Kravitz there. When uh, Larry and I was going to Home Depot yesterday, we were leaving. My wife was walking our dog Jerry down the driveway. Mrs. Kravitz was in her car going that way as we, we were leaving. And I saw her as we left. And then when we came back, my wife told me that, oh my God, Mrs. Kravitz is going to die soon. I said, what are you talking about? She's like, when you guys were leaving yesterday, I was walking Jerry. And she was in her car trying to catch her dog because she left her gate open. And her little dog got out was running around up and down the road right there. So she drove up to my wife in the car and she was like hunched over. She got out of the car, she could barely walk. She was like all hunched over. She got a big bloated stomach. Her stomach is like really, really bloated. Like my wife said, it's like when my wife was talking, she's like, it reminds me of my mom when my mom, before my mom died, she had liver cancer and her stomach was bloated really big like that. And her face is like all sunken in. She looked like a scary skeleton. And she couldn't breathe. She was trying to walk up to me and she was like, ah, I can't. I can't breathe. I got a disease. I can't breathe. And my wife was like, I couldn't understand what she was saying, and she kept saying she couldn't breathe. And my wife's like, You want me to call 911 for you? And she's like, No, C could you catch my dog for me? And my, my wife enter, you know, trying to act like Mrs. Kravitz. And uh, she said, Oh, so she finally said, All right, let me try to catch your dog. Your dog won't come to me. And so she was running around trying to catch the, her dog, holding. Jerry so she decided to use Jerry's bait to get the dog to come up to her and then she finally caught the dog and uh, carried it over to Mrs. Kravitz and handed Mrs. Kravitz she's like oh my god you won't believe how scary her face looks I think she's going to die very soon because she looks so sick and she couldn't breathe and she couldn't walk and I was like oh that's probably why we haven't seen her out walking around like she usually does with her water hose and stuff like that I haven't seen her in a long time do that but as much as crap as Mrs. Kravitz has given us uh, after my wife told that story, I, I felt really bad for her because, you know, I don't want any bad stuff to come to anybody, whether they're pain in the asses like Mrs. Kravitz or not. But uh, that's the update of the story. I told my wife, I hope you didn't get too close to her. Maybe it's contagious, you know. I don't want you getting what she has. So, man, I can smell this way out here. I should have sprayed that last. Where's Jerry? Where's Jerry? Oh! <laughs> what are you doing in there, huh? He doesn't allow Brownie or Josie to go inside this little tiny house, underground tiny house.
Josie, are you hot? It's not really hot today. It's just muggy, huh? Right, Josie? She used to be so talkative when she was a puppy. She's old, though. You see, I had her... We've been lived here eight years, and then we lived a year and a half in an apartment before we lived here, and I got her when I first lived in the apartment, so... She's, uh... Whatever, dog years. Uh, total, I've had her about nine and a half years, so... What's that in dog years? It's like seven years to our one year, something like that. You figured I'd do the math. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn my radio on and uh, start taping. Ooh, it smells. I'm gonna get high today. I'm gonna sing that song. What's that song called? The uh, I was gonna go to work today, but I got high. I was gonna get up and go to work, but I then I got high. I don't know, go something like that. That, uh, my wife's gonna get home and says, how come you haven't painted? I was gonna paint the walls today, but I got high. mix up the primer and start painting the primer first. I'm just having decided where I want to start. Do I want to start high up or start low? Probably high up first I think probably makes sense. This looks just like the paint. Let me check, make sure it isn't the paint. Oh this is the paint. Duh. I'm glad I didn't do it backwards. That's why you always gotta check. Uh, gotta get the primer. See? Those freaking uh, waterproofing stuff got me all high already. Can't even think straight. At 12.30, I started at 10. I got all this wall primered. I have this huge wall primered. And I got half of this wall where the AC is primered. And all I have left is to primer all this. And the bottom half of this. And then I can... Uh, start painting. I started up there first. So it's looking pretty good. And once I get done <clears throat> primering everything, I'm going to go hit the with paint, the ceiling trim with paint, and then that can dry, and then I can start painting all this primer. Start with this wall. When I finish this wall, I went to this wall. And then I went up over here. And that's where I'm at right now. I got to Finish this bottom part, but I gotta go get something to drink. I am thirsty. Painting takes a lot of energy. Let's see what it looks like outside. Man, look at them clouds. Woo! Stuff's moving in quick. My wife's in town. She's gonna bring me some McDonald's for lunch. Hopefully I'll have all the priming done by then. She, she was telling me this morning that we're going to have severe thunderstorms this weekend. So, what is today? Thursday? Hopefully I'll have it all done, paint it by then. Well, Friday is coming and uh, Larry's supposed to be doing the stairs. And hopefully do the floor too. Alright, gotta get something to drink. Let's see what the temperature is. About 96. I guess I ruined this shirt. I got paint all over it. My shorts, my leg, my favorite shoes, my paint primer. She's gonna, my wife's gonna yell at me. Alright, get back to work. I'm gonna finish this uh, wall off. AC's working really, really good. Alright, 153. Man, it took a long time. I just finished. I, I forgot I had to do inside here. I painted the door or primer the door. Got all this up in here. Got all the walls. Now, I think my wife is home. I'm going to go have some lunch. Then I come back and I'm going to paint all the ceiling tile white. And then all this primer should be ready and done. Gotta go clean up those paintbrushes first. Can't tell with all the freaking 
white in here. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, gotta go wash this stuff off and then lunch and then come back and paint. Having some uh, maple, bacon, Dijon, artesian no, roll, something chicken fillet is what it says. Yeah, but it's not. It's the barbecue. This is it's chicken. Chicken barbecue, bacon, bacon barbecue. Western chicken. It says maple, bacon, Dijon, artesian That's roll. Crispy chicken. That's what it looks like. I don't know. And that's a surprise too, because man, I'm burning so much freaking energy. Primering. All the primering is done, thank goodness. I'm gonna wash it down with some dragon fruit by. Uh, check up on some emails and uh, comments. Take a little break. It is 10 after 2. I think I'll take a break till 2 30 and then get out there and start painting. Can't believe it started 10. Four hours to prime everything. That's crazy. I guess but plus the taping everything off, so I'll probably get it done tonight. <clears throat> bon appetit. Ah, uh, 2.45 lunch was delicious. Look at it. Jerry looking for his mama. Oh, where's mama? Where is she? Uh, uh, I didn't want to get up. I did not want to get up and go back and paint the tiny house. But uh, just remembered I gotta tape off the uh, AC unit. And it's a hundred degrees. Ugh, put my shoes on and get pumped up to uh, go paint. Got my favorite kicks on. Let's go. My wife's supposed to help me. She's gonna do the uh, trim. Look at these clouds. It's so beautiful, God. It's all beautiful. The rain is on. I was gonna paint the trim, but then I got high. Da, 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 da. What? What are you sneezing about? Huh? What are you sneezing about? You don't like my singing? I gotta, I gotta put some blue tape around that, and then uh, my wife's gonna start on the ceiling trim. And I'm gonna start up here in the corner here and we'll get this big wall done first. It's so white in here now. Uh, don't fall, don't fall. Not only scared, but also deep purple and special guest artist Tesla as part of that lineup. More echoing on Twitter. The trim. Oh, I have to come outside. I'm getting all freaking dizzy. Oh, how the hell? I get, I got paint all over my phone. Look at the clouds. My hands. Oh man, I am so dizzy. Look at the clouds. I was. I told my wife. I thought today was Sunday. I completely forgot it was Thursday. She said, "What the heck's wrong? You? It's Thursday." I was like, "Oh, I don't know. Confused." I gotta go out and get some air. Wash my hands off. All right, let's see what time it is. I just got done. <laughs> My neck is killing me. 608 from looking up. I can hear the hear the thunder rolling over there. Some major storms coming through. Oh uh, man, it's like getting snow blind looking at that white paint all day. I peeled off the blue tape that's supposed to keep the other paint from seeping through. Man, peeled off all my paint. My what is it, green wall or gray wall, whatever the color it is. Look at this. I wanted to get done by six. I don't even know if I need any more painting because I'm, like I said, snow blind from staring at the white paint all freaking day. My wife gave up on me, what, about 4.10. She just said, all right, I'm done. I don't want to do this no more, and then she left. I haven't seen her since. So let's go in and take a look. It's getting kind of dark in there. I'm really frustrated because of the freaking paint peeled right off. I don't know how that's going to be repaired. That freaking painter's tape really sucks. Got all this paint. In. I just finished this right here. I got a bunch of paint there. I had to clean that up painting this door right here. But this turned out pretty good. Uh, some, uh, I did a coat over there about 20 minutes ago. still drying. 
I'm going to take that blue tape off the AC unit. But uh, this was the last thing I did right here. I painted up right here. I painted it all the way across because, I don't know, it just looked dark. I don't know because if it's dark up there, I'm getting a light up there. I don't know. I didn't take, take the blue tape off of this because I got to paint this stuff. I'm afraid it's going to peel this paint up like it did right there in the corner. That's not white paint. This painter's tape ripped whatever color that paint is right off. It's just, oh man, I was so pissed. I was taking it off all around the uh, ceiling trim, which turned out really, really good. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get a lamp up here or something. All this ceiling trim turned out really, really good. It peeled off right here to painter's tape. Come on, focus. It's not gonna focus. But this ceiling trim is all painted, looks great. This was the last tape I was taking off. And look, it just, I don't know how to repair this at that layery look at it. It's just peeling right off. I might have to redo this whole wall, I don't know. Look at that. My wife did buy this paint at a yard sale a long time ago. A long time ago, maybe it's expired, I don't know. But uh that's gonna have to, she's gonna have to do the touch up because I painted everything else. I, I'm sick of painting. My camera won't focus because it's just too too much white. I want to get this done so when Larry comes tomorrow, I don't know if he shows up tomorrow, I don't know. We can work on those stairs, but ah, that's so frustrating. Ah, ah I'm snow blind, all this white everywhere. Well, I want to go in and uh, upload this to my computer. Oh, no, I'm not going to take that off first. Then I'm going to upload it to my computer. Jump in the shower and throw all this crap away. This brush has had it. And uh, I got like a half a bucket of white left. In case I ever have to do any touch up. Man, it's so white. I swear to God, it feels like I got snow blind. Anyways, I got to go check on my wife, tell her to come look at what happened. And, uh, whoa, that was some lightning I just saw right over there. I don't know if the camera caught it, but. That's it for me today. The painting nightmare is done. She can handle all the touch-ups. Hey, what's going on, girl? Josie hates the thunder. You scared, Josie? You scared? Good brownie. She's molting. Anyways, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe. It don't cost you anything. It's free. And, uh...